All right, so <laughs> I'm back. Um, this video is gonna about gonna be about how I went to hell. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm definitely gonna cry on this video. I'm gonna cry. The last one I didn't cry. This one I'm going to cry. Um. Okay. So I'm trying to see where I'm gonna start. All right. So basically. I'm not going to say what customer this is. Um, this was during the summertime. And I'm telling you the story now. Instead of, instead of telling you what happened. In, and tell, instead of saying this story in the first video. Because I didn't even get saved. <laughs> I didn't even go to church after this. Like you would think that you would. Like if what I experienced. If you would experience what I experienced. You definitely would have went to church right after. I didn't. I Because I thought I was hallucinating. So basically what happened was um, I was done with my customer's hair at work <laughs> and um, it, she was my last client and she's actually a good friend of mine. So it was, she was my last client. She's actually the girl that I was talking about in the last video about how we was in a restaurant. So she's we at the shop. We're leaving and she had a brownie. So everybody knows me. I'm greedy <laughs> and I love chocolate. So I'm like, give me a piece. I want a brownie. Give me a piece. And she's like, oh, you know, it has, um, it's an edible. It has weed in it. First of all, I never smoked. I had an edible. No, I had an edible once, like years ago. But I didn't need, I got high, but I just like passed out. So I said, all right, look, just give me a piece. And she gave me a piece that was like, like, it was like this big. And she said, don't eat the whole thing, eat half of it, because it's it's really strong. So I'm like, okay, yeah, okay, whatever. So I eat half of it when she when, when I was talking to her, and then when she left, I just ate the whole thing. Because I'm like, oh, it's, you know, it's nothing. It's, you know, it's a little weed brownie, whatever. See, I'm a, I was a drinker. Me, I could drink, I can't drink a lot, but I could, <laughs> but I could drink, and you know, I know like, if I'm getting drunk, I'll be like, you know what? Let me just go sit down. Let me go take a nap. So I'm like, all right, if I get high, I'll just... I was going to my friend's house anyway. So if I'm like, if I get high, I'll just go to sleep. So my friend comes and picks me up. And remember, I already had the whole piece of the brownie. So I'm sitting in the car. And from my job to my friend's house is about 20 minutes. So we're in the car. And we're like literally like around a corner from her house. And I'm sitting, I'm like... I feel weird like my body feels tingly and I'm like oh I'm high okay and my friends in the car and now I'm like like the biggest consp conspiracy theorist so I'm just like talking about like a whole bunch of stuff and she's like oh god here we go Corey you're high so um I was just like talking about like um just like random stuff like about like with the government and stuff like that so we go in her house and this is where like gets intense so i we go in her house her mother's there her brother's there and it's her so we're sitting no yeah we're in the kitchen and i'm sitting in the um sitting in the kitchen and out of nowhere i remember bits and pieces of this she had to like tell me everything but i think i pretty much remember this part now this part i didn't go to hell yet so this part i just i'm just high just like going crazy so all of a sudden, I like jump up and I start like cursing everybody out in the room. And then like I started like sticking my middle finger up at, at her. I love her little brother. He's like 10. And I'm like saying F you and sticking my middle finger up at him and cursing at cursing at her and cursing everybody out in the room. Um, they said that I was like getting up and sitting down, getting up. I was opening the door, looking out the window, like looking out the door, then closing the door, then sitting down and then getting back up. Then they said I was like scratching I was just like going crazy. So then, then they were saying that I was like yelling, saying I'm possessed. I'm like, I'm possessed. I'm possessed. Just yelling and saying that. And they were like, Corey, you know, like, calm down, calm down. You just, you know, you're getting, you're high, you're high. So I'm like, all right, all right. I'm like, all right, I'm going to sit down. I'm, like, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to calm down. Because like, I'm like, if I'm drunk, if I sit down, I'm good. You know, if you, you know, like if you sit down, if you drunk and you standing up, you're going to be stumbling. You're going to fall. You know, it's it's going to be ugly. So I said, all right. I said, Corey, calm down. So I'm like, all right, just calm down. Sit down. Gather yourself. I sat down. 
And as soon as I sat down, because I'm telling y'all, it's I'm gonna put a link in the bottom of this video, okay? Because there's a guy that had the same experience that I had. So I know what I'm t saying is real. I'm gonna put the link in the description box of another guy that had the same exact experience. He went to hell as well. And he basically said the same, not like the same exact thing, but his experience was like exactly like mine. So I sit down and I'm like, all right, calm down, calm down, calm down. As soon as I sit down, right? I literally sit down. I'm like, all right. And then I just like sat down and then all of a sudden, now you know how like um, you'll play, like guys will play video games and like when a video game ends, like it'll, like it'll flash like game over or like like you die or whatever, it's game over, right? So I sit down and then all of a sudden, flashes right in front of my face, game over. So like literally, I sit down and I calm down and says, boom, game over. And I'm like, like what in the hell? Like game over, like what? Game, game over, like what? game over like first of all my friends it's uh, my friend my her mother and her brother just standing there looking at me like what's wrong with this girl like literally i've sit there and it says game over like just imagine words <laughs> this man you guys sitting like we're talking and you're sitting right you're sitting down and then all of a sudden words just flash in front of your face like game over in in the atmosphere game over and then all of a sudden i hear I'm going to say, well, yeah, no, it was the devil. I'm telling you, if no one believes in it, he's real. All of a sudden, oh, I'm getting chills when I, when I even think about it. He literally says, oh, I'm getting chills. I'm like literally getting chills. He goes, ha, 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 fooled you. He literally said, ha, 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 fooled you. And I'm like, now just imagine you... Imagine your friend is sitting down in a chair and you're just looking at him. They just, they're making faces like, because I'm literally like, hmm? Like, I'm literally sitting there making faces because all of this is going on in my head. Like, nothing, it's not like, I'm not talking with my mouth and, and everything is just, because it's in, because it's in the spiritual realm. Like, literally, like, I realize now that I entered the spiritual realm and I went into, like, another dimension and I went into a dimension of hell because this, this is a real hell that's underneath the earth where like when you die your soul either you go to heaven or hell and i wasn't dead yet i didn't die but i was high and that's why god says you have to have a sober mind i don't care what nobody says all oh, weed is from the earth no because you're because you're not in control of your mind so you cannot do anything you cannot do any type of drug weed is a drug i don't care what nobody says you can't even get high off of pills like yes it, you know if you your um doctor um, subscribe you pills you could take it but you cannot be high if anything's gonna take if anything's gonna alter your mind you cannot do it so literally he goes fooled you ha 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 and i'm like fooled me what the i'm like what the f i'm like i'm not i don't curse really like that i'm like what the f the like what fool me what and then all of a sudden he goes because remember i didn't believe in god this is when i did not believe in nothing I didn't believe there was a hell in a hell. I didn't believe in anything. So if I don't believe in it, I shouldn't be here. All you atheists out there, y'all could believe whatever y'all want to believe. Y'all can make this imaginary world about, oh, when I die, I'm going to go here. Nah, homie. Guess what? When you die and you open up your eyes, <laughs> you're going to, well, if you don't, you know, ask God to save you, you're going you're gonna to wake up in hell. I don't care if you don't believe in it. It's there. Because I did not believe. I'm telling you, I did not believe you can ask. Well, some of you guys know me, some of you don't. Whoever knows me, you can ask anybody that's my friend. And you can even tell by the way I lived on my life, like my lifestyle. Like, like did this girl believe in having a hell? Because the way she's living, like, that's what you think about me. So anyway, I'm like, fooled me. And then he literally, the devil goes, you didn't believe in hell. And he goes, you're, he, you're in hell. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, hell no. I'm like, I'm not in hell. Me. I'm like, in my head. Now, remember, I'm just, I'm like, I'm sitting here at the table talking to myself, like, in my head. I'm like, no. I'm like, hell no. I'm like, I'm not in hell. I'm like, I didn't kill nobody. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't murder nobody. I didn't, I didn't rape anybody. I, you know, because that's what you think. You know, people think, oh, when you kill somebody and, you know, if you murder someone, you're going to hell. 
no, homie. Because I'm like, no, I'm like, I ain't, I'm not in hell. I didn't do anything. What did I do? Yeah, guess what? All of a sudden, I'm telling you, all of a sudden, every sin that I've committed started hitting me. Like, literally. It was like fornication, like so hitting my chest, hitting me, like, boom, boom, boom. Everything that I've done, like, and that's the thing, that's, like I said in my last video, anything in the spiritual realm, you if you think it, and like, let's say you're like, oh, what's that? Boom, you get the answer. So I'm like, well, I didn't do anything. Oh, you didn't do anything? Here, you, this is what you did. Boom, boom, boom. Every, every sin that I've done literally hit me hit me hit me hit me now let's say if you let's say if you don't believe in anything let's say if you don't believe that you don't go to heaven or hell but let's say what i'm saying is real and you go to see on judgment day you're gonna see god and you're gonna say well no god i don't i, I don't i don't have no i'm not gonna go to hell and if he says yes these are the things that you've done. Are you going to argue with him? Like, what are you, if you really did it, you know that you did it. And he tells you that these are the things that you did that's going to, that, that this is why you deserve hell. Are you going to argue with him? Because as soon as that happened, all I could do was, okay. All right. I literally was like, I did those things. Okay. <laughs> like, literally. And then all of a sudden, you guys think that you, that we have feelings on earth? Like, you know, we have, we can feel, like, you know, like you feel sad. Like, hmm, I feel sad. Or if someone slaps you, you feel pain. Like, oh, my arm hurts. In the spiritual realm, like, even if you go to heaven, like, when you feel joy, it's like, you literally, like, you feel joy. It's throughout your whole being. When I, when I literally found out, like, how, like, in that moment, I'm like, oh, my God, like, I'm screwed. I'm in hell. And literally, my whole being, not only like, I literally felt like remorse, sorrow, sadness, but I became, I didn't feel it. I didn't only really feel it. I literally became sad and sorrow and and, and anguish and, and sorry and like, like, like it was ridiculous. Like, Imagine like me, my name is Corey and I woke up on you like, oh, that's Corey. Corey's coming towards me. Just imagine if you can point out the word sad. Just imagine if sadness can walk up to you. That's literally what I was. And then remember, I don't believe in God and I don't believe in God. I don't believe in anything. But as soon as that happened, I, I feel sad and everything. And then I'm like, <gasps> I literally was like, <gasps> I immediately felt separation from God. I didn't even believe in this person, this thing, this, whatever you guys want to call it. I didn't even believe in it. And I'm like, I can't even call on him. I don't even believe in him, but I, if, like, I can't even call on him. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, he's not here. Like, there is no way of me calling God. There is no way of me getting out of here. Like, at least like when we're on earth, you cannot believe if you want to. But if you get into anything, if, if you start getting sick or if you if you have a family member that's sick, even if you don't believe, you still have a chance. You still have an option. You can you can even call someone like, hey, can you can you pray? You can even call out to God and, he, you know, he can he'll answer or he might not, but he might answer or he might answer someone else's prayers. When you're in hell. That is it. There is no, he's not visiting you. He's not calling out to you. He's not asking you to repent. He's not, he's not sending your friend to talk to you about him. Cause I'm, I'm like, and, and a lot of people out there that aren't saved and you know, sometimes your friends or a stranger might come up to you and start talking about God. That's because God told them to come and talk to you because you're not, because you're not saved. And God wants everybody to go to heaven. So if you are having someone to come up to you and to talk to you, listen. I'm telling you, listen, because when I tell you, I think I'm about, I'm going to start crying. When I literally felt that, um, you, that God is not going to be there, I didn't even believe, but I knew that I couldn't even call out to him. I'm like, nah, th like, that's it. He's not coming. You, he, he cannot save you on earth. Like, this is your time where you can call on him. 
this is your time with, you know, like, even if you want to, even if you're partying and you want to live your life and you're doing whatever y'all want to do, you, you can do it, but you can always say, you know what? I know there's more and you can call out to him and you can, and you can cry. No, you can cry out to him and you can tell him, Lord, I give my life over to you and he will, he will come. But when you're in hell, that is it. And I literally felt separation from God. I wouldn't wish that on no one. I didn't even believe in him. And I automatically knew. So after that, as soon as I, as soon as I realized God is not here, I just put my hands down. And I was, cause I was like, I blew it. Like, like, are you, like, you're retarded. Like you, like you grew up in a church, you retard. Like you're an idiot. So I literally just went like this, and then I look up. And remember, my friend is in the room with her mother and her brother. And I look up, and I look at my um. At the moment, I thought my um uh, my friend's mother looked like she looked demonic, but God told me because I. Um, after I got saved and a few months later, because I started thinking about it, he told me that she didn't look, she wasn't demonic. That's how we look in the spiritual realm. Like you guys think that Beyonce is beautiful. You might think that, you know, who else? Um, let's say Holly Berry is beautiful. It's all an illusion. I'm telling you, Th your, your reality is not reality. The spiritual realm is actually more real than the physical. This is all an illusion. Okay? I'm telling you, when I looked up at my, my friend's mother, I don't want to, I'm not, I'm not saying she's ugly, but in this, and when I looked at her, she looked disgust, like we looked disgusting because of our sin. Her face was like dro like droopy, like like just imagine someone like pouring wax on you, and like your face is droopy, like uh, like droopy. It looks it looks crazy. So I look up her, I'm like, what? I'm like, what in the hell? And then all of a sudden, she goes, it finally hits you. Oh, I'm about to. She said, it finally hits you. And then she looked at her son, and then and then she goes, ha ha ha. And then when she said that, she's like, it, it basically. It basically sealed the deal. Like, ha, it finally hits you. Ha, ha, ha. Like, you're in hell. And when she said that, I was like, <gasps> and then I put my head down. And then I looked back up, and then she said, it finally hits you. And then she looked back at her, and she said, ha, ha, ha. And then I put my head down again. And then I look up, and then she said it again. And then I put my head, and she said it again. I'm like, <gasps> this is eternity. Remember, I don't, I didn't know any of this. I didn't know about eternity. I didn't even know, like, when you go to hell, it's eternity. I didn't know that that you, um, the presence of God is not there. When I tell you, literally, it, it, when I tell you, I was in mental torment, it went over and over and over and over and over. When I say, oh, I, my friend said that she left me in the living room, in the kitchen. She said I was in, out there for hours. She said she left me out there and she, they all went in their room and locked the doors because they said I went, I was going crazy. When I tell you, I literally was just like, it was like, just imagine going like this for hours. Like, literally, because I was, it was, I felt like I was in the twilight zone. It was a loop. Literally, it was like, mm, 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 mm. It was like, finally hit you, ha, ha, ha. Finally hit you, ha, ha, ha. And I literally was like, I was like, I can't do this. I can't do forever. I cannot, I'm like, I can't do, it. I can't do this. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what that, I'm like, I gotta get out of this. I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. And thank you, God, I got out of it. I got out of it. And, you know, hours later, literally hours later, I got out of it. <laughs> and um, it was hours later. And then all of a sudden, like, I hear the TV. Because um, the TV, I, I guess they, they left the TV on when they left me. And all I hear, you know how, like, the, the fuzz, like, um... When, like, there's nothing on the TV, it's just, like, fuzz. Like, that just woke me up. And then I went to go lay down. And the next day, I called my friend, and I said, I don't know what the F that the boy put in the damn 
uh, weed, the brownie. I think he put some K2 or whatever that, I don't know what the hell he put in there, but I, I was like, I went to hell last night. And she was like, Corey, shut the hell up. No, you didn't. I'm like, no, nah. I'm like, nah, I went to hell last night. I don't know what the hell, I don't know what the F. I was, this is when I'm cursed, I'm cursed crazy back then. I don't know what F, your friend put in a damn thing. I said, he can't sell down the street. I'm like, cause he don't kill somebody. I'm like, I don't know what he put in there. I'm like, I went to hell last night. I'm like, thank God I went to my friend's house because I'm like, you would not see me no more. I would be in a psych ward because I was going crazy. I'm, Yo, guys, could you imagine if I was if I was by myself, one or two, like out in the street or at a party or something? They would have to, they would put me in a crazy house. I'm like, yo, dude, I said, tell that boy don't sell that on the street because I don't know. I'm like, I think he put K2 or something in there because I went to hell. My friend was like, Corey, shut shut up. No, you didn't. You didn't go to hell. She goes, you know, you were just hallucinating. That's what happens when you smoke weed. And it's an edible, stronger than smoking. So, you know, you, you you were just bugging out. So when she said that, I'm like, all right, I, I guess you're telling the truth because, you know, um, they said that, um, you know, they say, I've heard people say that, you know, when they did edibles, you know, that, um, they'll, they'll freak out. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Months later, months later, when I, when I was going through all the other stuff, which I explained in the first video, when I was going through all that other stuff with like the demons and all of that, um, I had seen a demon and a little girl, like the girl was probably like four or five. And I seen that she had a demon in her and I'm like, nah, I ain't never heard of no kid having no demon so i was like let me look this up because i'm that that bothered me because i'm like she's four or five years why the hell would she have a demon so i go i'm on youtube and i'm looking up like if anybody had any experience with um like kids like seeing kids like demons and kids and then all of a sudden you know how like on youtube you have like little like other suggested videos so i look up um i see on the side it says people like saying that they went to hell so i'm like hmm you know I'm just, I'm weird. Like, first of all, I like scary movies. So, I'm like, okay, let me see. Who, what, you went to hell? Let me, let me see what, let me see what you're talking about. So, I'm playing the videos. And I'm like, okay. Now, there's one girl. She tells her story. And I'm like, hold up. That happened to me a couple of months ago. Nah. I'm like, that wasn't fake. That was real. Then I watched another guy. The guy that I'm going to put the link, I might even put the, I'm going to put both of the links on the, in the description box. And the other guy, I'm like, what? I'm like, I really, I'm like, first of all, I'm an idiot because I should, <laughs> I'm an idiot because I should have got saved after that experience. Because two people I'm going to show, I'm going to put in the description box, they actually got saved. They literally <laughs> gave they si themselves over to Christ. My ass is like, all right. That wasn't real. Let me go live my life drinking and having sex and, and doing everything else I'm not supposed to do. You would think that I would have woke up. I ain't wake up. But thank God he gave me another chance. But I'm telling you guys, this is for people that don't believe. This is, this video is even for people that do believe. Because it, there are even Christians that don't even believe there's a hell. You know, every not even every Christian. There's some Christians that are like, you know what? You know, I'm, going, I'm saved. I'm going to heaven. Nah, homie. Not only sinners go to hell, there are some Christians that go to hell, okay? I don't care what none of you, I don't care what some of y'all say out here. One saved, always saved, that's a lie. That is a lie, okay? The reason why you're saved is because Jesus Christ has washed you clean, okay? He washed you clean. He washed your sins away. So if he's washing your sins away, he's making a new, you are new. Why are, you, why are you still sinning? Why did he wash you away for you to sin again? He said to the prostitute, go sin no more. Okay? So, so, so for some of you Christians that are out here that are still having sex un, um, without being married, still getting drunk, still smoking, still doing all of those other things that people that are not saved, and, that, and that also that you're a bad example. Because how are you telling your neighbor or your friend that isn't saved, like, hey, you know, you need Jesus Christ in your life, but they're looking at you like, why? You're still doing the same things that I'm doing. Why do I need to be saved? I can still do what I want to do and not be saved because you're doing it. You're not One, you're not setting a good example. Two, 
It says it in the Bible, which I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull it up because I've been having a lot of discussions with some, I'm not even going to say their names. And they're probably going to see this video. Nine times out of ten, they're definitely going to see this video. And it says it in the Bible. Okay? Matthew 7, chapter 7, verse 21 through 23. Not everyone who calls me Lord will enter God's kingdom. The only people who will enter are those who do what my Father in heaven wants. First of all, if he don't want you to sin, how are you entering his kingdom? Okay? On that last day, many will call me Lord. They will say, Lord, Lord, by the power of your name, we spoke for God. And by your name, we forced out demons and did many miracles. First of all, if you're not saved, you cannot cast out demons and you cannot do um, miracles without the, um, without the power of God. Okay? And if you have the power of God, you have to be saved because you're saved and then you have the Holy Spirit filling your, filling, filling your soul. It's, it, it's in, fill it in you. So if you have the Holy Spirit, you can cast out demons in his name. If you don't, you cannot do this. So if you're casting out demons, that means you're saved. Then he says... Then I will tell those people clearly, get away from me, you people who do wrong. I never knew you. Okay? Well, in the King James Version, it says, um, get away um, get away from me, you work of iniquity. Whatever. But it's the same thing. So if you are saved and you are still sinning, please repent. We are not perfect, okay? Meaning that, you know, we... We will not do the sins that we have done before, okay? But we will sin again. Um, some of us might not. Some of us will. It's hard. It's hard. We have to kill the flesh. The flesh is very weak, okay? Our flesh is very weak. Like, forget about the devil, okay? Not forget about... Yeah, the devil, he, he works. But our flesh is weak. Our flesh actually is working against us, okay? So, you have to kill the flesh, but if you if you do commit sin, you have to repent. If you do not re repent, I don't care if you have the Holy Spirit. Because you can actually grieve the Holy Spirit. Okay? If you keep sinning and without repenting, you will grieve the Holy Spirit. And you can lose the Holy Spirit. You can lose it. Okay? So if you do not repent and you die, I'm telling you now. You know, you know what's going to happen because I said it and I read a scripture, okay? Um, and then also, I'm t I'm, it's real, guys. It's, and, and not even that, like, do you want to play with your soul? Like, I'm, I'm not playing. I'm not playing with my soul. Even if you don't believe. Let's say if you don't believe. Is it wrong to be nice? Is it wrong to, you know, to not? Because, I mean, the, the, the sins, they're not, like, saying, like, um, they're not saying negative things. They're saying, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery. They're saying good things, like, basically, for you to live a good life. So, is it harmful to maybe believe what everybody else is saying? Like, maybe he's real. Maybe there is a heaven and hell. Like, maybe. Maybe I might be right. And if she is right, I don't want to go to the bad place. I don't want to go to that. Because the, the experience that I had was this big. It was like, God, um, thank God, he put sparkles. Like, he sprinkled sparkles on my little experience. Because I looked up other videos, and there's a girl. I think I'm going to I'm gonna also link her video. Because she, hers was amazing. Because God actually showed her heaven and hell. Because she, um, when you're saved and you're filled with the Holy Spirit, um, God will come to you. Like he will come to you in the spirit and he can, he'll take you to heaven. And cause that's the thing. Once you're saved, we actually have the keys. We are allowed to go to heaven. Like we can go even while we are alive. Not only when we're dead, we can go visit heaven while we are alive. Once we have the Holy spirit in us, once you start fasting and praying and once you get, um, build that relationship with God, Oh, best to believe you can, we're able to go, to heaven we can go to heaven he and he will come to us and i'm gonna put the link in the description box of that girl's video as well and she said she, i i'm glad i got my little experience but she actually literally got holding god's hand holding jesus christ's hand 
walking in hell. They walked together and she literally seen people tortured. She's seen demons in hell torturing people. And it was hot. There is no water. There is no food. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If if you are not saved, please, please. And and if and if you believe anything that I'm saying, if if this video spoke to you or if you like if you had any doubts and you've seen this video you're like all right maybe you know maybe she maybe she got maybe she's saying some truth please please get on your knees and repent you don't have to even go to church you can do this at inside your home because I'm, I'm like i'm even i'm talking to my i'm talking to my nieces and they they like they even called me the other day talking about so what do i do how do i get saved so I'm I'm pleased if and when when and you don't do it when you know like if you feel like you're pressured do it when you feel like you know what I'm done like I, I, that's it I want to give my life over to God that is it you literally get on your knees and you repent you you say Lord please forgive me for all my sins and you say it like Lord please forgive me for fornication please forgive me for drinking whatever your sin is and you're gonna say Lord um I I I know that you died on the cross. Y'all can say believe, but I know for a fact he died on the cross for our sins, okay? You're going to say, I believe that, you know, that you came in the flesh on earth and you died for our sins, okay? And then you're going to say, I want you to completely take over my life. I give my life over to you and I want to be filled with the Holy Ghost. And, and if you say it with all of your might and you mean it, be prepared because your life will change. And I'm telling you, hell is real. I'm not playing. Hell is it's hell is real. Y'all y'all think hell is on earth? Y'all wish. I'm gonna say this, and I don't. I, I feel so bad for souls in hell because they're not getting out. Like just imagine Hitler. It's 2018, about to be 2019. I'm not really good with history. I don't remember when he died. But his ass is still there being tortured till now, till today. What's the day? The 12th or maybe the 13th of December 2018? He's still being tortured in hell? Nah. And he ain't in no water. It's hot. He's burning. He's probably getting sticks. Yo, I'm telling you, y'all got to get saved. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta get right with God. Y'all don't want to wait till it's too late. I'm gonna say this: if you don't know where you're gonna go when you die, if you don't for sure know, I'm gonna close my eyes and open them back up. If you don't know if you're gonna go, if you're gonna be in heaven, please repent and give your life over to God. I'm telling you that now. Because you don't want to wait. You don't want to be living your life like, nah, they don't, she don't know what she's talking about. I'm good. I'm good. You're living your life. Tomorrow's not a promise to no one. As a matter of fact, you, God told me himself. I'm about to start crying. He literally told me, he said, Corey, if you did not get saved this year, I'm about to start crying. He said, if you didn't get saved this year, you would have died. God literally told me you would have died if you did not get saved this year. And I know for a fact, if I if I didn't get saved this year and I would have died, I would have been in hell because I didn't even believe in him. I didn't believe in him. I didn't believe in heaven and hell. And if I would have died, I would have went to hell for a fact. And he told me if I did not get saved this year. Now, God doesn't have a certain amount of times when he's going to wait for you or he's going to send people to come and talk to you so you can give your life over to him. It's not like he comes to you a hundred times. It's not like he comes to you 30 times. But there is going to be a time where he stops. There literally is going to be a time where he says, you know what, that's it. I'm, I'm done. I, I done. I'm, she's good. I'm done. She ain't, she don't want me. She made up her mind. I'm done. 
And I literally, if I didn't get saved, I was going to sign over my, I was signing my own death certificate. Okay? Because you guys don't realize the, the way that I was living my life. And I wasn't, well, I feel like I wasn't doing anything crazy, but in God's eyes, I was. I was, like, he probably, like, trick. Like, you doing too much. Like, what do you, like, really? You just don't care, huh? Like, literally. The way, I was literally shortening my life span. The way that I was sinning, the sins that I was committing, I was shortening my life. He told me, I would, I was, he didn't tell me what year, how old I was going to die, but he said, if you didn't get saved this year, you was going to die. And I, first of all, I was really, and I know for a fact, because I was really bad with drinking. And I used to drink and drive. Because I, because I felt like I could drink and drive. There's a lot of people that feel like they can drink and drive. And I, and how many times do y'all hear someone dying from drinking and driving? How many times? I'm telling you, please, I'm not even... I wish I could force people. I wish. I wish. I wish. If that's the case, everybody will be saved if you could be forced. But if if anything in this video touched you or even you believe anything that I say, please give your life over to God. Please. But um, thank you for watching. Um, and I guess wait for my next video. Actually, I think my next video because I've been struggling trying to get... I've been saved, but God told me, he said, um, I need to get, I need to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. So my next video will be talking about how I receive the Holy Spirit, because I'm telling you now it's going to be, it's going to be tough because, um, I know that I've been battling with demons my whole life and, um, I know I need deliverance. That's why I ha that's why I haven't received the Holy Spirit yet because I know I need deliverance. And that's going to be scary because I've seen videos of people getting deliverance and getting demons casted out of them. And it's crazy. And that's going to be something that's going to be scary. So that will be my next video on um, getting delivered and getting the Holy Ghost. But thank you guys for watching. Um, and wait for my next video. And please subscribe. Like my videos and subscribe so you can get notifications on when I repost. Um, but thank you guys for watching.